Hello everyone and happy holidays. I hope everyone's having a great Christmas or whatever holiday that you're celebrating around this time. Uh, I hope you're with your loved ones and enjoying, just enjoying your life, you know? Now, over the last couple of days, like three days ago, I did see the movie The Menu and I did want to talk about it real quick. This isn't going to be as in-depth as my In A Way Home video, which I do implore you to watch. I did put some effort into that. Um, but this is going to be more like my everything, everywhere, all at once video. Just nice and short, nothing too much, nothing too much in-depth, just general thoughts on the movie. Mark Mylods, by the way, sorry if I mispronounced the last name. 2002 horror thriller flick The Menu is a very very fun experience in the movie theater. I implore you to see this movie. Ralph Fiennes and Anna Taylor-Joy, sorry if I butchered those names, were obviously the standout of this movie. They definitely gave the best performances as they are the main characters in the movie. That is, that is to be expected but uh, Anna Taylor-Joy specifically I thought I thought gave a, a really great performance. I think she did a really good job. Ralph Fiennes, again sorry if I mispronounced that, also did a really good job. I think his character had um, a lot of vulnerability to it, actually. And you'll see what I mean when you see the movie, specifically in the ending, that I think really captured the, not only the essence of the character, but it really hits home what this movie is about with its anti-consumerism theme. You'll see what I mean when you watch the movie. This movie has uh, definitely an anti-consumerism message that, like I said, without getting into spoilers, um, you're going to just need to watch it for yourself to understand, to be honest. And some people might not get this movie, on a first viewing. The message of anti-consumerism and there's the general corruption of consumerism that can be caused from it is definitely explored in the main attack. Oh and uh, just to note, I have not seen any of the trailers for this movie so I actually don't know what's revealed in the trailers at all so I'm going to be using terms like antagonist, protagonist just to stay as spoiler free as possible. Anyways, the main antagonist of this movie really explores the notion of anti-consumerism because th this person is, he just doesn't find passion in what he does anymore. He finds the corruption to be unbearable and so he causes for this whole situation to happen again based off the corruption of the rich, uh, making his job just unenjoyable now and this theme circles back with the protagonist and how she's able to escape the situation she uses that passion that the antagonist had that the passion that was corrupted by these rich powerful people who exploit him she uses that to his advantage to touch upon him to 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 find his roots his soft spot to find what it was to make him love his job in the first place. And there's other allegories in this movie that touch upon the messaging, all right? Like there's this like there's this group in the movie that is very corrupt. They're worried about taxes. They they I mean, the tax fraud, tax evasion, anything to make a profit. And there's there's this other character in the movie who's weirdly very very comfortable with the situation that they're in and it's because he's supposed to represent the everyday consumer, the one who just takes in everything that let's say Hollywood's producing. They he'll take it without questioning it. And uh, one of the more toxic consumers because well, this character is it's never explained in the movie why he's like this way. I assume he's just crazy. But obviously he's supposed to represent the bigger picture of. He'll take it at first threat, not even not even question it. He's the type of character. Or at least that's what the character represents. He represents the everyday commoner, the consumer, essential. The crazy consumer who just takes anything that these big companies shit out. The main character and the antagonist share this. Um, they have they have a lot of things in common, for sure. And I think that's another strength of the movie on how the main character escapes this situation. She has a lot of just re reliability to the antagonist. There's there's a sense of mystery with her at first. You, It's very, um like I said, like, without getting into too much spoilers, um, she's not who she seems. Uh, she's not. She was. She's not supposed to be there in the first place, and that causes a lot of friction between the antagonist because he's a perfectionist, and she just doesn't follow along with his plan. And that's actually one of the main reasons why conflict happens in the movies. And that's one of the reasons why she's able to escape because she wasn't a part of his so-called. But besides the themes, this this is uh this this is the plot. Okay, the plot. The plot is very, very well written, very well tight. It's a great, it's a great mystery. I will admit, I did not see any of it coming. It's not a mystery per se because there's no like end mystery. You, you know how most mystery movies just like, oh, who did this? Who's the murderer? The more it's like this movie's more of a why, and you find why sprinkled throughout the movie, but there's never explicitly like a dialogue where the main attack is like, oh. Here's my history. This is why I'm doing this. There's, n there's none of that. It's literally, it's left ambiguous and vague for a reason for the audience to break down and try to piece together. But it's not serious all the time. There's a little bit of comedy mixed in there. Not, 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 not in every, like, 
20 seconds like some uh, some Marvel movies, I guess is the best example I could use. But uh, it's sprinkled in there correctly and to serve the purpose of the plot. The cast also does an amazing job. Every No one here is... is bad at all everyone has either it either a great performance or like an above average performance definitely the only criticism i would have of this movie is that it's definitely um slowly paced at the beginning it doesn't really pick up until the first major event of the movie happens which not the first event when the first like suspicion that something isn't isn't going well that something doesn't seem right that's when the movie really begins to pick up there's a lot of great shots by the way a lot of good uses of cinematography the set design is weirdly very very uh, confined for sure most of this movie takes place in one area and that's not a fault of the movie at all i think it really strengthened the movie actually because it represents the severity of the situation it makes the situation much more tense much more claustrophobic definitely the ending is put in a way that isn't very confusing it's um it's an ending that definitely will need some like you will come out of the movie thinking about the ending if that makes sense you'll come out the movie thinking okay how does this ending make sense it won't make sense at first i will admit that but once you really think about it things will start coming to piece together and this is because when you think about the ending you have to think about the entire film how does the film connect to the ending and there are plenty of things sprinkled around the movie that makes the ending worth your while. I do wish I can go more into the anti-consumerism um, theme of the movie or I mean there's multiple themes you can grab out of this movie but I think one of the biggest ones is the attack or the criticism of consumerism and how it's easily corruptible uh, making this film an anti-consumerism flick. However I don't want to ruin this for anybody who hasn't seen it yet I think this movie is deserving to be seen in theaters for sure that's my thoughts on the movie just some general thoughts i don't want to go too in depth want to keep it nice and short it's at the holidays want to i want to relax <laughs> being a college student is not it's not fun it's not very um kind to your time <laughs> i do just want to briefly talk about movies now um i do plan on seeing puss in boots later glass onion looks amazing um and yeah just short videos like this just because i like movies i want to talk about movies i think i think this is really fun so far Again, if you haven't seen my No Way Home video, this is the first video that um, I really went to death with just because I love Spider-Man. It's his one year anniversary with this movie and I put a lot of effort into that video. Anyways, what did you think of the menu? Did you like it? Did you not like it? Do you think it was average? How did you feel about the message of the movie? Comment down below. I would really like to hear your thoughts and if you like this video or if you just want to hear someone talk about movies as they come out in a condensed summarization then consider hitting the like and subscribe. It means a lot to me. Thank you again and happy holidays.